The Saltswell New Battery is one of the best preserved elements on the Atlantic Wall. This coastal defence line was built by the Germans during the Second World War and stretches from Norway right up to the Spanish border with a length of nearly 5,300 kilometres. The Atlantic Wall had to withstand an invasion of occupied Europe by the Allies. From the summer of 1941 onward, the Saltsworld New Battery at the domain of the late Prince Carol was built by the German Kriegsmarine. The battery's main task was to present and defend the harbour of Ostend. At the end of 1942 the battery was incorporated into the Atlantic Wall and later was called Trippitz. There were 36 anti-aircraft flak guns. Well-practiced soldiers could fire 80 to 100 shots per minute and shooting was accurate up to the height of 2 kilometers. In the center of the battery was the observation and command post. Soldiers and NCOs worked and stayed in small rooms with their beds hanging from the ceiling. The men's quarters that housed 15 soldiers shows how difficult life for these soldiers was. There was a food store for keeping tin food and bottles of wine.
These primitive toilets served all the men in the bunkers. Soldiers with minor injuries were treated on site, but soldiers with more serious injuries had to be transferred to the main hospitals in Ostend and Bruges. All small arms and machine guns were repaired on site. The men's quarters provide a shelter for 30 soldiers and 3 NCOs. There isn't much space in these bunkers. The bunks are hanging from the ceiling. Electricity and fresh air are provided. And a round coal stove is also used. The main purpose of this bunker was to protect the entrance to Ostend Arbor. This part of the Belgium coast was used by the RAF when bombing raids were over Germany. Notice the searchlight. This land was also used as the parade ground. This is an original painting, painted by the camp's resident painter. And it happens to be over the fireplace of the camp's commanding officer. stayed on the air de service just outside Dipani and then caught the tram which is just outside of the air de service up to the Atlantic War Museum just outside Ostend. Dipani is just a stone's throw from northern France and as the widest beach without breakwaters on the coastline 
it is perfect for long walks. The town hall serves as a hotspot. Anyone with a laptop, tablet or smartphone can make free use of the internet without needing a password. Many local businesses also have a wireless hotspot where you can use the internet for free. The tourist train departs from the town centre during the summer months and takes you to the most beautiful spots in Dapani. The ride takes about 45 minutes and takes you through the picturesque Dumont Quarter, the marketplace and along the residential areas back to the town centre. A must for anyone looking for an original way to explore Dapani. So if you keep your eyes out on the left hand side of the screen, you will see the Atlantic Wall Complex. It's about a quarter of a mile long. You can clearly see the gun emplacements. The tram service has about 70 stops. It runs very frequently, about every 10 minutes in the summer months. Tickets can be purchased on the tram, but are about 50% cheaper when bought in advance in shops like supermarkets, news agents, etc. Taking the tram from Ostend you will pass the pretty inner arbour. The tram is serviced by the Flemish Public Transport Company. It connects the towns on the coastline from Canock to Depani. With its 42 miles, it's the longest tram line in the world.